Whew, I've finally seen the movie that many are calling the best they've seen in years. Look, I had some other stuff to get to. I'm still building these shelves, and I had to go see Father Stew and Beast, the Die Hard in a Shopping Mall movie. But now that I've seen this film, yeah, it's pretty good. Like the title suggests, the movie is a lot of different things, all coming from thousands of different multiverses, and it's also a lot of different Michelle Yeohs, who is just wonderful in this, as she brings in all kinds of different types of performances we've seen from her over the decades, from comedy to drama, as well as kicking large amounts of ass again. I love how in one of the universes she's even a martial arts movie star, making it to where this could pretty much be called Michelle Yeoh the movie, like how Birdman is like Michael Keaton the movie. What starts out as a story of a family who owns a laundromat and then going through tax auditing turns into a battle among the multiverses to save the world. And boy, it's certainly a movie that keeps you on your guard because it is one hell of a ride of not knowing what they're gonna throw at you next. It certainly spoke to my ADHD thought process. But as random as it is, and as unapologetically batshit as some sequences are, right down to a fight scene with dildos hanging from people's asses, there was a fair amount of rules to it, at least to the point to where I could follow along with it. It gave random shit like lipstick eating enough of a reason for happening, as opposed to let's just do this because even though it borderline gets that way. And if that is how you feel about the movie, I get it. I enjoyed the movie, I liked it a lot, but I wasn't in love with it. Because some of the humor could be hit or miss for me. Even though they've given me a reason for some of these things happening, there is a lot that just feels kind of weird and quirky for the sake of being weird and quirky. Like scenes involving universes with hot dog fingers, or poetic talk of a bagel, or this rock sequence that might as well just scream out, meme me. Some of the jokes don't feel like jokes, and more like, look at us, look how strange we're being. There's a bit of it that's too much like some adult swim show I'd be stuck on at like 2 in the morning, and I'm not high enough for it. And even then, I'd still rather just flip over to a rerun of TJ Hooker. But for all the problems I had, the movie throws so much at you that it was pretty quick that I would get drawn back into it. There is a universe where it's the events of Ratatouille, but with a raccoon. And I loved this part. It was killing me every time it was cutting to it. And I was really invested in these quick flashes of this story of a guy and his friend, Raccoonie. There's a fake out ending in it that did get me for a second. Like, I did look down at my phone because I knew how long the movie was going in, so I was like, it can't be over yet. Otherwise, this is the quickest two hours and 20 minutes that I've ever sat through. But they do remember to put a tremendous amount of heart in it. I really do like these characters and their performances. Throughout all of this chaos, you do get a very good story about a strained relationship between a mother and her daughter, as well as a marriage that's possibly falling apart. Not only do we see various different types of performances from Michelle Yeoh, but also Kei Hui Kwan, who has moments where he's the quirky husband, to then being badass by beating people up with a fanny pack, or having some pretty suave sequences in the movie star world. It's great seeing him back. Jamie Lee Curtis is having a great time here, getting lost in this character, who is at times very threatening, but then even she is more humanized as it goes along. The movie is a very good B+. I liked a lot of it, I'm just not in love with it, as some of the humor just wasn't for me. I've seen people flabbergasted when someone doesn't like it, and I can't go that far. I saw this with Laura, who loves A24 movies, and she really didn't like this, and a lot of her problems were some of the same ones I had. There was just a lot more I really dug about it that made up for some of the issues. Again, this raccoon, man. This may not be my favorite movie of the year so far, but this is one of my favorite jokes. 
Thanks for watching, everyone, and head over to our Patreon page where we've got not one, not two, but now three episodes going through copyright appeal. So check out our snob reviews for April Fool's Day, Beaster Day, and Thunder Warrior 2 over at patreon.com slash thecinemasnob, and we'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs>